Hey guys, uh, so for this video what I'm going to do is a uh, little bit of testing charging my car using some of the adapters. Um, I need, I've never used my actual portable charger that came with the Tesla yet. I've just been using um, the uh, wall charger. That one in the corner. And uh, so I need to make sure obviously that the portable charger works because I'm planning on making a trip uh, up north. I want to see how far I can go in the winter time north of Prince George. Really isn't any information out there uh, on the internet about people doing it. And the reason for that is because there are no uh, level two, level three charging stations um, for any reasonable distance. So what I'm going to be doing is there's a campsite just south of Chetwind. Uh, called Karen Creek RV campsite and I'm going to plug into their RV plug. So my goal there is to get to that campsite which is about three and a half, four hours one way. So it's going to be cutting pretty close to the full range of my Model 3 and it's winter time so could be sketchy. But my goal is to uh, drive there, sit there for probably four hours charging on that RV plug and then drive home and document that experience. But uh, in order to do that, we are going to need to try out that other charger. And so here she is, all washed up. We'll get dirty and icy and snowy soon because it's freezing cold out. So number one, obviously it's staying warm, so I will have to turn this bad boy off. And uh, Put this away so that we can drain off some of that electricity um, so that we can use this portable charger which I have never used yet haven't had to only thing I've ever charged on is those, uh, in the first video I made, the Tesla Supercharger, the BC Hydro slash Ministry of Transportation chargers using uh, this Chatamo adapter. But uh, these charging adapters, I'm going to be using one of these. I'm going to be using the Tesla portable charger from there. Okay, so before I use these, these, let's make this video somewhat thorough. Step number one, let's start draining that battery so that we can take a look at the different charge rates using the different options. Probably a good idea to do that. Okay, so... Destination is on the right. All right, we're at 88. I usually charge up to 90%. I unplugged it, so it's quite cold out. Uh, here in the garage, it's four degrees, but outside, I think it's like minus 15 or something like that. It's getting pretty cold. We have an Arctic front. Um, so we will crank this heat on. Just get it cranking for a while. Um, Get those turned on. So we've got it on high. What else can we do? I guess we could turn on all the seat heaters max. So get that using some energy. Why not? And uh, energy graph. 
Yeah, let's burn off some energy. So, I've got the Tesla Model 3 all-wheel drive long range. Best case scenario is about 500 and something kilometers. Obviously, it's winter time, it's cold. I'm guessing I'll probably get like 380 kilometers. So, just curious, if I were to navigate to uh, Karen Creek. What's this thing going to tell me? Alright, so it's saying 277 kilometers, 3 hours, 4 minutes. Um, and 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 no charging stations so drive there you're kind of stuck and there's nothing up here until you get to uh, there's some uh, I think level 2 stations Dawson Creek Fort St. John uh, J1772 still not very fast this uh, RV site here at Karen Creek it's got an RV plug so I think I'm going to get maybe even faster than some of those level 1 chargers at those places. So uh, that's the trip that I'm hoping to make this weekend and document that experience. In the meantime, what are we down to? Still 88%. So it's taken a while to burn off uh, some of the energy here. So I will stop the video and I'll come back once the cars drop down and charge a bit and uh, I will charge a little bit with the uh, Tesla wall charger, then I will charge with the uh, NEMA 1450, and then also charge with the regular 110 volt outlet here in the garage. We'll kind of compare those three. It'd be good to know because when I get to the campsite, I'll be using the NEMA 1450, which is the same as an RV plug. So interesting side note, I got a, got a car wash a number of days ago and notice in here you know it's all wet now I don't believe this is condensation I believe this is all that water from the car wash got in and just on the edge there because notice here around the lip you've got the gasket well on this side of the gasket obviously water got in really easy so these gaskets are pretty important and in my other video, you know, I put the gaskets and the doors and everything to stop the noise. That also keeps water out, so just wanted to point that out. All right, so like I said before, before the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to charge using the Tesla wall charger. Come on, Mr. Cable. And so push that button. In we go. And let's go take a look and see how fast it's going to charge with this Tesla wall charger. Okay, it's starting to ramp up. And 4 kilowatts. Notice the amps climbing. Should get up to 48. I, uh, Turned on the heat for a while and burned off some some of my energy. Okay, 38, 40. Okay, so 10 kilowatts and not sure how many kilometers. I think that's okay. It's just showing a percent. Anyways, 11 kilowatts. This 60 to 70 kilometers an hour, you have to trust me on that one. Maybe if I actually change the charge setting. Um, yeah, distance. Okay. And charging. Okay, so 69 kilometers. An hour. 11 kilowatts, 69 kilometers an hour. Now, we are going to swap this up.
and first time ever I'm going to use the portable charger and I'm going to plug it into the NEMA 1450. So I have this adapter, you'll have to get this, it does not come with your Model 3 anymore, it used to. I got the whole kit of all the adapters. Let's take this one out. Okay, this. I'm gonna need this bad boy here. So this is a kit you get nowadays with your Model 3. So this is sort of like the portable charge kit. This is your J1772. So that's like your 1772 to Tesla adapter. And you get like a normal 110 volt adapter. So, step number one is going to be grab these. And because of the way I had this set up over here, I should be able to uh, just plug in this stuff into that plug and just turn off the Tesla wall charger. So let's go ahead and do that. Do this safe way. And that will be, turn off the breaker, boom, off it goes, leave that off. Okay, down here, kind of hard to do with one hand, but I do want to show in the video how to do this. So on this end, we will plug in the charger all the way in that's what it looks like and upside down so okay so that's all plugged in turn on the breaker Tesla green and hopefully this is long enough to get over here. I'm really hoping it's long enough. It's gonna be a stretch, it's gonna be a stretch. Are we gonna make it? Oh, just barely. Boom, so great. Show me green, show me green. Green is good. Okay. So, ramping up the amps, I think this, yeah, notice this now caps out at 32 amps. The portable charger doesn't go as high, the cable's a little bit thinner, it's not rated to go as much as the portable charger, so now we're down to 45 kilometers an hour, whereas before we had about 69.70. So, little more than half, uh, half the speed. So I anticipate I'm not going to get any better than this. I'm going to only get 32 amps, 46 kilometers an hour at the campsite. So I'm going to have to count for that, for that trip up north. So let's look at the energy, uh, the display settings, put that back to what I had before. Energy. and seven kilowatt seven slash eight kilowatt compared to 11. so that's what we got on this one now let's try the wall charger next let's try the wall charger all right so i'm going to stop this still use this portable charger Ooh, that's kind of tight um so that would be this guy right here uh, where to plug it in? Where to plug it in? Good question. Yeah. We'll just pause the video. Alright. We're going to plug this in. The outside plug here, even though it's freezing cold out here. Yikes. It's like minus 15, so. Alright. Let's try this. 
110 volt bad boy. Okay. Green means good. And let's give that a try. Open sesame. Blue, blue, blue. Green. Okay. So now, yeah, I mean, it's only going up to 12 amps max just because of the rating of the single plug one kilowatt which is like what what is one kilowatt that's ridiculously small ridiculous ridiculous so that's like what six kilometers per hour not the end of the world but like i said in in some of my other videos plug into your wall six kilometers an hour maybe seven max uh this is 12 amps if you had like a a uh, they have like a 110 volt circuit that's 20 amps you could get a little bit more than this another thing you can do though they have a device where you can plug two uh plugs into two different circuits in your house and double this up so you could probably get around 10 or 11 if you had that special device but then those circuits can't have other things on it like a stove or whatever else or you'll trip the breaker just a side note so now we know the portable charger works we know what it's like to use the tesla chargers about 70 kilometers an hour we know the nema 1450 we get 40 something an hour and with the normal 110 volt six kilometers an hour